Hi guys and welcome to my MIRC video on how to create limiting factors to stop people from spamming commands in your chat and stuff like that and stop stopping people from doing all sorts of events. It will work with basically anything. Um, so this was a thing that I discussed a bit in the comments of the last video. A few people said to do it a certain way and yeah it could work that way but I'm going to teach you how to do it a different way. That way was shorter. I will go over that way um, as well, but this way is a lot better to use because it allows. Well, you'll see. In, you'll see in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new line where our message is, and we want to just enter a few lines down here uh, above our message. We want to start writing an if statement. Now this if statement is going to be like the following. So what people basically said to me is that. This if statement uh, should only be percentage flood, um, which means that all the commands get timed out. So for the variable that gets created when someone uses a command to stop people from using it again, um, it's called percentage flood. Now that's okay. Um, that will block anyone, well, block anyone with, a, with their nickname. For, yeah blocking that certain person from using any command um, which is okay but I'd like them to be able to use each command uh, within moderation kind of thing so we've called ours percentage flood YouTube which is for our YouTube command so that creates a different variable for each command um, providing that we do them differently on each bit of script so I've done it again here as you can see percentage flood YouTube you can copy these uh, scripts from the from the description and just tweak them to how you want them uh, the first one will be in here um, and this part is for the nickname that we want after after the variable um, so that each person has a different variable created for themselves now this means that each person will be able to use their command after a set amount of time now the set amount of time I'm going to use is 30 seconds so First of all, I want to create a flood to stop anyone from using from using the command for 10 seconds. So this stops anyone. There's no mention of nicknames or anything like that. This is completely set U10 flood YouTube on, which means the flood activates and no one can use that command. And we can see that in usage here. I'll just show you that. And so percentage. So submit my YouTube. We we'll see why that ain't working. Um, it's because we haven't quite finished the script off yet. I'm gonna just oh no, I know why. Because we need to finish it with a percent, uh, with a dollar sign and plus there after our message. Now it should work. Um, right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So it is now working. Uh, it did actually work before as well. I just didn't realize. It had a slight bit of a delay on. So now that that's done, we can see. It's probably a bit too late actually now, but we'll do it again. You can see that that is creating a variable in there to stop anyone from using the command. See if I try and use it again, it won't. The variable must have gone off because it's been 10 seconds. But. You can see that it's stopping me from using it again for 10 seconds until the variable goes off and this variable should go off after the 10 seconds is up which we'll see shortly there we go it's gone so now what we can do is we can write our next bit which applies to each individual username which I've got on 30 um, which is the flood YouTube dot dollar sign plus dollar sign nick on which basically means that this creates a different variable with dot their nickname after it so for example it'd be flood dot flood percentage flood dot uh, percentage flood youtube dot chrome tv for me um, and we'll just put that into practice here so this should now create two variables as we'll see in here 
bot is working a little bit slow today because of the Twitch chats are being a bit derpy. But there we go. Uh, let's just put it in. So we can see here a new variable. It's created both. Um, one's going to go off a little bit earlier than the other, which allows everyone else to use the command, but not not me. Um, which is useful um, because it means other people can use the commands, especially when people want to see their points and stuff like that. It's going to make it a lot easier. Um, things like that. So what we can do now is we can repeat this process for all of our different all of our different um, commands, like so. We can even do it for our hello command if we wanted. Stop people from from spamming hello and just from it to keep on going. So what we can do now is we click this check brackets and it'll line everything up for us good. Um, and then what we need to do is alter these so to change the variable name. So I'm going to have flood Twitter. So I'm going to change this to flood Twitter. Flood Twitter. Oops. Then flood Twitter again. I'm going to have flood hello. Flood hello. Flood hello. And then finally one here as well. Now, using different variables for each one means that it doesn't block you from using all the commands, but if you just had it as flood for all of the commands, then that would mean that once you use one command, you're not allowed to use any of the commands, which we're going to use the same variables for some commands in future um, when we get more into the series but now if you see I type YouTube I type hello I type just to make sure Twitter it will allow me to do each one um, you'll see them all pop up soon the the twitch API is being really, really buggy today and I'm trying to do my best to record these videos for you but when twitch chat is playing up it's not great. There we go, you can see it's all just gone in. And we can see that the variables have been created here. Um, which is all good. And that is basically all there is to it. It's straightforward, it's useful for stopping people from spamming the commands or flooding as it's known on the IRC um, and it's just a great way to do things so in the next video I'm going to be going a little bit more basic than this one it's going to be going into using join methods so when for example join events and leave events so when people join it greets them I've got an example of that here um, in fact now I'm not going to show you an example we're just going to do it next episode um, in the next tutorial as well, we will maybe start to cover the points system. I have started to write it up, um, and we're going to be using aliases for that. So remember, this code is in the description. Remember to just look at this and try and understand it a little bit. Like, you can see the different variables and how they are created and stuff like that, and the returns. It's very straightforward. So, see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.